detail. One detail. All right? Everybody get on everybody get on both your elbows and both your knees. Alright? Now I want you to turn your right hand in, right elbow out. So your, your left hand should be facing forward, your right hand should be facing towards you. Now take your left foot. Everybody tap your left foot on the mat. High, big high leg over to your right hip. Okay? Now scissor your legs and square your chest up to the mat. Scissor your legs, square your chest up to the mat. All right, do it again. Elbows to the mat, knees on the mat. Twist your right hand towards your body. All right, big high leg over to your right hip. Okay, now scissor your legs back, square your hips up to the mat like you're sprawling. All right, watch this. All right, flat. Wing, half or no wing, doesn't matter. Okay, I got this half in and I get them to 90 degrees. I get them to 90 degrees here. Even if I'm out to the side a little bit, I got them to 90 degrees. My chest is too high. I want my chest in the armpit. So watch this as I'm driving, okay, I'm gonna go big, high leg over, and I'm dropping my elbow to the mat. Okay? This looks like I don't have control, but look at my chest once I square it up. This was something I was talking about. Is it Taven? Kale. Kale? All right? This is what I was talking to you about dropping. What you had on your single? What, what was on the single last time? Single, single, last oh, time. that was a longer single. Yeah. But that's what I was just talking to Kale about is opening the hips up and dropping your elbow to the mat. And Joe's smelling my armpit right now, but it's all right. Then I scissor my legs back right here. And then remember when we lifted and circled right here and sucked the soul out of their body? Yeah. That's how we pin. Okay? That's the difference between you pinning a guy and they remembering you for the rest of your life. All right, because it was so bad, or we just squeaked by. So one more time. And it doesn't matter if I got a bar or just a half. But when I open that hip up, again, pinning's about patience and small adjustments. It's not about power, all right? So I get this half. And the reason why I can go to my hip and walk my arm out is because he can't go anywhere, okay? Turn into me, turn away from me. Like, he's trapped. So that's why we can walk and get out to the side here. What do I need to do right now? I need, to, I need to get my chest back down, right? So even if I shorten this bar up, I've got, and I can let go of the bar. Open my hips, drop my shoulder, drop my shoulder, drop my elbow to the mat. I don't stay here. As soon as I open my hips, it's like I hit, then I square back up, okay? Then lift, then walk, then walk, then walk. See how my, my arm is around his waist? I'm pulling my elbows back to my ribs. I'm pushing my chest through his spine. Not his chest, I'm putting my chest through his spine. Notice my knees right up by his head, reinforcing everything. And then I just push my head down to the mat, and then I watch him bridge and pin himself because he wants to get off the mat. And then I just know as he walks off the mat that he's going to remember me because I made him pin himself. All right? Does that make sense to everybody? So, again, we're getting to that position with our bar or our half. I'm getting my elbow to the mat. I'm opening my hips up. I'm scissoring back square. Okay, then I'm driving, 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 then I'm lifting, then I'm circling, then I'm squeezing elbows, then I'm putting them down to the mat. Go! Let's start on five. 